I didn't understand, like, how could that happen? Right. Like, is yeah. that real? We streamline the have middle to. out of anything. That's one thing millennials have done. We streamline the middleman out of everything to eliminate jobs left and right. We're not, you're not, True that. You want a job? Too bad, buddy. All right, guys. You and me both. Tell me what you know about The Cure. Weird band, good music, a lot of talents. All right, Jake. Yeah, he just summed it up. I know that one kid, I think, from Stranger Things was obsessed with The Cure. Maybe I'm thinking of a different the. Because there's been a, a few thes. <laughs> Last time we filmed, we had the, the, the this, the that. The, the, it's kind of funny. Yeah, Lots yeah. of thes the, the, going on. Well, I think that's the perception most people have of the cure because Robert Smith is, is a, uh, an interesting individual, kind of recluse, but he's a great artist. Um, their following is unprecedented. And I think part of that would have been the goth rock part from the late 70s, early, early 80s when they began in that mold and then developed into a basically a top 40 band, an alternative rock band that went mainstream. So the, the, hence their audience is just huge right? On, on many levels. They're interesting in many different ways, I guess. And, and so maybe Robert Smith prevents them from thinking of the band, you know, because he's so, so famous. But this song, Why Can't I Be You, is a uh, what I call pop cure. Okay, cure pop. Cure pop. Something like that. Something like cure that. Cure your pop. <laughs> Listening to this, the cure song. Exactly. With your so, pop. So th this one is, again, we're like 87. And um, wanted to share this one because I just try to break that stereotype. Okay. That they, the cure can be fine. So we'll do dark cure later, but let's get, break the stereotype first. Okay. So why can't I be you?
Now that's one where I have no idea what you guys are going to think about that. Oh, it, I, it was fun to watch. It was fun to listen to. Most people wouldn't think the Cure could like do a video like that. No. Most people think of them as taking themselves too seriously, which this at this time '87, where "Kiss Me, Kiss Me, Kiss Me" was this album. That's kind of what they did. Like just like Heaven, the very famous song was on this album. So they went from the head on the door in 85. I think they did this and were like, eh. Eh. I mean, Kiss went. Disco, what do you think? Right? Di- Dynasty was a disco album. Yeah. There you go, dude. I was made for loving you and yeah. charisma. Yeah. So kind of what The Cure did. So Jake, what's your vibe? Man, there was a lot going on in that one. I uh, It's like a smorgasbord <laughs> of all of my uh, artistic uh, nerve endings being tickled. <laughs> There's quite cool. a bit going on there. Um, the opening up with the grimace giving me a kiss. That's what I'm calling that a purple thing. Uh, McDonald's for our UK viewers is a uh, a place where we they they have they have oh, yeah. they have they, McDonald's. They have McDonald's there. I'm sure they had Happy Meals. No, and... they call it a Royale with cheese. <laughs> oh, all right. Anyway, yeah, I got good. I don't I don't know if the character they, they have McDonald's over there. I don't know if they have the characters of in McDonald's like the oh, Happy Meal true. characters. Do you guys have grimace? I'll leave a comment anyway. <laughs> no, yeah. Back on the music, man. It um, it was good. I I liked the introduction of like the more orchestral, like woodwind kind of stuff in the right. background, the very poppy horns and stuff. It's like that's cool. It's yeah. nice to see them kind of like getting maybe outside of like their typical like stuff that I thought I I would hear from them. But, yeah. I mean, I don't know. This is this is it's different. It's abstract. It's cool. Um, I'm sure for the times, everybody's like, yeah, this is it, man. This is great. So, pretty much, yeah. pretty much, yeah. I was like, I'm off buying the 12 inch. Yeah, you guys, you guys, man, it's going crazy. Just running around, going to keggers and fighting. It's the best we could do, man. <laughs> like, I actually would have seen this on, like, the MTV mm-hmm. when it was music. The well, MTV? The MTV. Not, not the, that, that reality channel? Not that I? reality the crap. Okay. Was, like a real music channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're like, you're like, The Cure, new video coming up tonight, world premiere, 9 o'clock, you know what I mean? You're actually tuned in, and all your friends tune in at the same time. So the next day at school, everyone saw the same thing. They're like, what'd you think of that video? Right. It was so cool, because we were all in the moment at the same time, because that was it. This is that. This is that lunchroom conversation with your buddy the day after the new thing just happened, back Absolutely. in the day before the sharing began. Totally. Yeah, it would have been like in the lunchroom. Like, did you see what Robert Smith was wearing? Dude, what? The new video thing, it was crazy. That was the start. It yeah. was like internet word of mouth. That's so but cool. real with real mouths. Well, yeah, and it was it's kind of <laughs> like you attended a concert, but you didn't go anywhere. Hmm. And you had something to talk about the next day. And so MTV did that for so many different... I don't know about you, John. I look at MTV back in the day as being all of social media wrapped into one. It was all in one place. Right. Interviews with bands. Um Culture, culture, performances, culture. Yeah. Uh, letting you know what was coming out. Yeah, and you had to tune all in, in one. You had to tune in. You couldn't just select and choose and all that. No, no. But that's how I kind of think of it back in the day. Yeah, and, oh. I, and I liked it when MTV came out with Headbangers Ball. I was like, totally. That's <laughs> what I like. You know, they they, they, they the, VH1. VH1 when they started was more like MTV Light. Yeah. Oh. It was more pop. So I kind of liked it. John probably would have hated it because no, it was more I, pop I centric. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't a hater of the easy listening pop stuff. Those guys don't even cut. I don't know. <laughs> L- literally, literally, in, the only option I had in Albuquerque when we first got cable, there was MTV and VH1, and then there was a local cable access channel from the University of New Mexico where they had students literally with a screen and kind of a VCR next to them that would play alternative videos. Like if you want to see old cure stuff or like Oingo Boingo, I'm watching UNM's cable access channel yeah, huh. yeah. and they'd press play and you'd see the, the you know the VHS tapes would have like the little fuzz on them and yeah, stuff and I, <laughs> you'd wait to get through that and then the video would play and the quality probably sucked too but it was like I get to see the video right. dude that static one is that is an aesthetic that oh it's a will, filter now it will live forever totally yeah it's a filter and now that, I was like I to, want to include that to us it was a, uh, on the tracking button yeah yeah no it was a tracking knob Exactly. Fix it to get that thing going. Oh, yeah. I actually, <laughs> I've seen it. I don't okay. know of it. Right. Totally. That's what I would is. see the, um, like the Indian, 
uh, American Indian. In the circle. Circle thing, yeah. It, gotcha. There's some kind of big logo that covered up the screen. Well, that's because around 2 o'clock in the evening, all networks went off air. And what they would do is put that up. They Seriously, they would play the national anthem. And they yeah. would put that up, and it would read those bars till like, 6 o'clock next morning. Yeah, so you guys were just sitting around listening to the Johnny Carson show? and If you were, no, no, you were, you were like, stuck. Uh, hopefully you had a VCR to play something. effort and working in your, in your well, little factory in Korea. I mean, we had four <laughs> channels. We had three Korean channels and one Armed Forces Network channel. Hmm. And at midnight, the American channel starts, you know, national anthem, flag, mm-hmm. and then it would go to the Indian head thingy. Yeah, and then uh, because we didn't have color way back then, was it color, black and white? <laughs> yeah, color actually started coming into Korea in the late seventies or eighty. Okay, and then it was weird because when they would broadcast, they would do it by primary color. So anything that was red was red; otherwise, it was black and white. And then really, the week, anything that was green was green, Dang. black and white. And then the, then the following week, then you had the blue or yellow or whatever it was. Right. And then they mixed it up in the fourth week and it was garbage. <sighs> then they started fine tuning stuff and then all of a sudden we had color. We're like, no freaking way. We had a color TV this whole time. I thought it was black and white. <laughs> Golden age, we had color. Jake is now thinking we are so freaking old. That, that's what busted out the Johnny Cars. <laughs> <laughs> Giving you guys the business like us youngsters do. Just, just so you know, I, I, I love Johnny Carson. Yeah, so did I. I, 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 I do. Love Johnny, he was the man. Ex. Jerry Seinfeld, like the first time you would have seen him, would have been doing stand up. Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Carried eras. Johnny. <laughs> much more power in, in much fewer media back then. Yeah. So someone like Johnny Carson on TV had extreme power. Oh, yeah. Maybe too much power, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Create their own narrative. Right. But that's a different episode. Well, okay. This was a cool video. This was a cool song. I I really enjoyed it, and I'm okay. I'm thinking I got I got to get more into the Cure. Here in front of the audience is where we want to dive into this stuff. We no no cheats. That. Let's wrap this one up. It's okay. Long. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm surprised. That's a dub from you guys. Then. Yes. I'm surprised. I took a shot on this one, and uh, I got lucky. But the Cure today. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time on the show. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.